Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a review of the Toy Matrix exclusive Angry Groot Funko Pop. Groot is a popular character, and Funko certainly knows this. We have the uh, the green, mossy, glow-in-the-dark Loot Crate exclusive version. We've got the little baby dancing Groot, and several variants of that with different colored pots and plants. So it makes sense that, you know, Funko would want to do more Groot, and I think the Angry Groot is a really fun variant. Uh, going in for a closer look at his head, you can see that, like, it's the same body, but it's a brand new head, and I think the sculpt is pretty solid on this. You know, uh, pops by design are cute. Uh, the Groot pop was cute, and even Angry Groot pop, whether they want it to be or not, is cute. Uh, the rest of his head, if you go look around it, uh, the actual, like, sculpt of the woodwork is really strong. Uh, the overall paint of it's really good too, with the multiple uses of uh, brown. I think it's like a, like a kind of a light brown base with like a sort of other kind of brown tone that washed over it. Uh, the sculpt on the top, like the little nuggets of his head, look good. The branches sticking out. Um, the the dark really does highlight all the wood lines in it though, so that's cool. But the the front here, the way it kind of you know points and breaks up the top looks good. But I really dig the face. The uh, furrowed brow looks really, really good. His eyeballs have really clean paint. And considering I ordered this online from Toy Matrix, I had no choice in what I was getting. And I'm really happy that, like, the teeth are cleanly painted. The, the, the mouth lines are all good. There's no weird splotchy stuff. There's a little dark spot in his tongue, but that's not anything. Uh, the sculpt of his tongue is good. The sculpt of his teeth are good. The overall shape of his mouth. I mean, like, for a pop, it looks angry, but he still looks, like, really cute and almost smiley. But, you know, there's the furrowed brow. And uh, I think... Yeah, it looks really, really good. The body, yeah, is the same as the one before, but it was a great, well-sculpted body, as this one is. Um, again, the, the, the dark brown really does highlight, you know, the kind of nicks and grooves within the sculpt. And man, it's a really impressive looking sculpt. You can just see, like, all the little tiny details that went into, like, all the little wood plates that go along his legs, the way his feet sort of, you know, uh, branch out. Uh, the pose, the bent knee, the bent arms, the woodwork along his arms, his chest. This is really solid. I got nothing to complain about. There's no, like, you know, mistakes. It's it, And there's all really smart choices from a design standpoint. I just think he looks great. Just look at him just sitting there. He looks really, really cute. And even the bobblehead, which normally bugs me. Like, I don't know. He looks like a happy, smiley, angry Groot. So, I don't know. It all just kind of works. I dig this. And uh, if you're looking for this, ToyMatrix.com. That's where I found it. Thanks for watching.